and that's why there's some things with this through no default. I'm not blaming anyone here at all. I'm just saying we just want to make sure it's clear what's right to know and what are just requests for general information. Am I, am I worried that right, Steve? You are. I think just to avoid any confusion and putting anyone in a bad position, I think that's going to kind of keep that nice and clean for everybody. Is this going to be the future of this is the new moving forward from this point forward? I'm, I'm happy with what she's done so far. I think uh, uh, I know she is the right one officer. That's a lot. Being a board administrator and going over the other issues. So. Thank you. That's yeah, fine. And I don't think any of you are disputing any of that. What you're saying just want to be, there's so much going on right now. We want to make sure that nothing falls through the cracks. Um, the next one, um, we authorized to pay the credit card utility and health insurance before. Why that? I thought we were already in agreement. Yeah. Ready. So everyone's, there was there was some question on some things um, that making she wanted to be sure this, it was okay for her that these would fall under bills paid, not bills to be paid, right. to avoid us getting interest charges, late fees, and things of that nature. Right. So I think she just wanted to make sure that everyone was aware and no one's questions why they were paid before we voted on the meeting. So everyone good there? Okay. Um, just a reminder in this case, we still need uh, planning commission members. Um, you know, if anyone has heard from anybody or you want some ideas on people, we need to <coughs> we need to leave a word. <laughs> we need four. I think we only have one left. So what? Okay. Eli's still up? What? Is that Eli? Eli's yeah. still up, okay. Okay. Um, I would say go ahead. I mean, I know we put on our, our Facebook page in the past. Let's go ahead and get out there again. Do it again? Yes. Yeah, just make sure we get that ball going. Uh, the next was the hiring of our manager. Now, Dennis had planned originally hoping to come here tonight um, to go over everything went on with the program. Um, he needed to talk to Mike Foreman to go over a couple things with Mike that they weren't able to finalize. So he would prefer to come next week. Um, so really at this point in time, as far as the borough manager, we still need to wait until after we have the official recommendation. I think we're all aware it's, it's going to be in there. But we can't really move on this until we get the official recommendation. If we move on it before the rec official recommendation, that could jeopardize any grant funding that we get for it. And there is grant funding we paid, I believe it was 75% the first year, 50 and 25. Does that sound right? They don't know. No, we had that set last year, I thought. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that was the numbers he gave. That's what he had to be called last year. But, so we don't really want to move on that or do anything with that until. We hear the entire study, see where the recommendations fall over there. Well, I want to point out that Roberta is the borough administrator who's doing the work with the borough manager. She doesn't get the money for it. If we would decide to elevate her from borough manager to, excuse me, from borough administrator to borough manager, would we be able to get the uh, funding from, from the state for her salary? Um, I don't think unless we would actually replace her seat. I, I had a conversation with Mike Foreman, and the way this works, Mr. Patera, is that July opens the funding round for uh, program manager assistance for this grant program. The way it was explained to me is that you cannot make a decision to hire before you get our spent report, and then we have to go through a selective process public application, advertising, interviews. Um, that's a state requirement to uh, be able to participate in the grant process. So you can't necessarily designate a position or a person until that phase of the program is completed. I just wanted to make a point that I've never been for a borough manager, not who occupied it before. It's just that I felt as legislative elected representatives of our community that we have committees that you have appointed us to that makes recommendations on the process, and then Roberta, as the board administrator, implements those issues with coordination of the council and our code officer. That's all. Well, that's one of the things why I wanted to listen to them. They came back to the study with the recommendations, did because that's what they did pay to do. So thank you. We'll see you later. Okay, thank you. Um, the Army Navy Store building. Did everyone see the uh, email we got from Dave? I just, yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, how long are we going to let this go on? We go Green Friday, so we got to step up. I mean, he was actually moving. Well, I thought he was moving. I mean, obviously, we're all aware that 
is one person working for him trying to steal the material out of the place. Um, you know, but he's the one that get the head too, but a brick come off the building. That's correct. Huh? That's the same guy. You're not concerned. We go, once, we go, <laughs> once we go three and Friday, then we can start pursuing him. Because um, he was sitting there, he's waiting for those green. So once it goes green, yeah, he's going to have to start stepping up. I agree. One of the things I was going to request, Mark, is that uh, Bob can get access to do a walkthrough to see what, if you want to walk through, it would be awesome with Bobby, but to at least see what the condition is, if there's been any further deterioration in the later months. I see what the status is. The BYU was the Sean, mm -hmm. um, was the one that has been in there all the rest of the time. The short arms and Yeah. Right now, I'm going to talk about it. He knows what it was like before. Yeah, he can speak to the condition. I think he can just put it away. Yeah, that's wrong. Okay, Steve, so I agree with Joey. I think we should have the BYU yeah. get permission from the body at first. He has a file drawing, so he can handle it himself. No, because you're saying he has this. buyer. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, so as we go to rain, we'll have to move forward. I think that may stop the snow. We want to get to know that right now. Is there really a buyer that I think we can? If there is a buyer, we well, I, I will say this, Jerry. One, one of the questions he asked me originally was, he, his buyer asked what he needed to to bring it up to So that should from if anything, I don't know if it will occur, it may actually help. It will help at least the buyer know what they're getting into. But I don't think the buyer is going to, how many buyers are buy so they actually know what they're going to get I'm sure they went through. Yeah. I think it's going to sell. Yeah. Okay.
So parking the alley would be a solution then because they're already using it. They're already using that. A lot of them have carports, I know that back there. Honestly, I like Bobby's suggestion best about letting park partial the curb. Mm -hmm. uh, we got people do that now, I and mean, yeah, it does make sense yeah. in some areas. Right now, right on the side, there's about that much grass on the left side, and the curb is only about that tall, so you're not going to damage the car one up over the curb, and if they stay in that little grassy area between the street and the sidewalk. Okay, so. But if we encourage people to park on a curb on that street, then they're going to park on Exactly, that's what I was going to say. And if they get a flat tire, anybody. they're going to say, you told me to park on a curb, and I got a flat tire. But you know what, it's not even that. It's your responsibility because it's in front of your house. And then Bobby comes up and says, Roberta, your sidewalk's cracked and I want it fixed. She has to, she has to pay for it. That's I know, I did. Years ago when the shop sent to me for Well, there you go. So yeah. you already know. Yeah. Okay. But that's not fair to the homeowner that's at the house. Right. Because they have to pay for it. Unless we're going to pay for everybody's sidewalk, too. And we can't afford well, that. Well, the option is, that, the only good thing is that gives them easier access to parking. Or we tell them to park in the back, because you're going to complain about that. So they're going to say it's probably too hard for them to get. And if any same four cars are already there and a lot of them already used, there's no one for those cars to get. Well, then you eliminate it and they find some place to park. Well, we're, we're all guessing right now. Like I said, let Bobby look at it. How about yeah. the, we'll go look at it. How about the playground? How, how much? I thought about making part of the playground cool. parking area. Corner that's or really something. nice. That's a real nice yeah, There's never a new. Everybody's thoughts on that? We cite people for doing that. 
Where would it be? A tree in the uh, no. In front of the wayside. Everyone would put it in their own house. Sorry. Everyone would put it in front of their own houses. So that's why we keep up town wide on the sidewalks. I say make it a special occasion. Yeah, but you gotta bring it back in. Yeah, I say make it a special occasion. You know what I mean? If you make it every Saturday, it's gonna get old. Right. People aren't gonna do it. I agree with you. One Saturday. One Saturday. One Saturday. Try that one Saturday, not every Saturday. No, no, no. I, I was not in favor of that. No, no I said that was the last the Saturday of every month. I, don't know I think the first Saturday because people oh, have money. We've got a lot of the elderly that have money. Are you going to sell people. your stuff? I have to put it out there. Well, there is that Friday and Saturday. <laughs> okay, so we want to put that on the agenda for next week. And we're saying uh, starting through July, August. September the first Saturday mm -hmm. of the month. Okay. First Saturday of July. Uh, so it'll be from eight to three. We want to say five to. You know, like he said, July fourth is the first Saturday. Well, do we want to move it to the next Saturday just for July? We haven't been doing anything for July yet. I didn't say that. But I'm just saying it's a holiday. Seven to five. Okay, Janine suggests at the time 8 to 4, Janine suggested 7 to 5. 8 to 4? Oh, well, that's what I said, but she suggested 7 to 5. I, they like to start around. Well, they usually have, they usually have they a lot of people themselves, usually by 12, 1 o'clock people. That's what I said, 7, I'm okay with that, just a 5 o'clock. And you said 8 to 4, 7 to 3, 8 to 4, that's about right. At 4 is probably too late. It's going to be their option. Now, I think we need to put a set of time. Well, I think that you need to set a time. I'm saying, if I close time, I'm like, great. Right. Set a close time, Mark. That's the close time to you. I, I agree with you on a set. The absolute latest you can be out there would be 5 o'clock or 4 o'clock, whatever. The time to everybody else think that's fine. Which 4 o'clock? I don't care. Sam's? Nobody's staying. Doesn't matter. Nobody's staying. Frank, go ahead. We'll leave this one here. That's all I'm going to Whatever you want to do that. But you're not doing it. I just don't, if it drags on too long, it makes it, they're not going to stay out there. I know they're not. They're not going to stay out there. Right, you're just giving them a maximum amount of time. Right. Seven, I seven, think pretty four. much, pretty much, seven first time, cover story. Nothing. I mean, I know I did. Yeah. Seven first time, cover story. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay, the next question was uh, was brought about allowing Bobby to write tickets. Bobby, you want to explain that, please? I was talking to Chad. I, I know there's a lot of places where you can put yellow lines, fire hydrants, everything. Chad says, talk to, talk to council, I'm going to let you write tickets because every ticket I write comes back to the borough coffers. Not that I'm going to strictly go out and do that, but if I come across something, hey, because if the police write it, goes to the borough, the police. If I write it, comes to the borough. He said, it's just something that, maybe it's a couple bucks, but, you know, there, I mean, there's, I oh, yeah. can't believe the yellow lines and, and you know, abandoned vehicles. I got a list of about eight, eight abandoned vehicles I got to get my phone in the last couple of days. Will that kind of end your time going very good? No, just like I said, I'm, like, I'm looking to get down Fellas Foot Avenue and look for stuff. If I see something obvious, boom, boom, boom. And you're not going to respond to calls. No. Nope. And it'll just be throwing out from your code and you see. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Sammy might want to rock some one. I don't want to see that. You can, you can cut it into Sammy's turf. Oh, at least I'm up on a hill. I mean, there's a lot of places up on a hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So what would you be writing the tickets for, Bob? Well, I'd be at the yellow lines, fire hydrants, um, two close to the intersection. That'd be basically about it. Well, yeah. Is there, there is an issue. So say right where I live, on Crest, between 6th and 5th, those lines are all yellow. They need to change because those are all parking spots. So we either need to get them up there to repaint those curbs, not yellow, because right on the side where the only place that we can park at, and we have three vehicles, is right there. So from the stop sign back, that has three parking spots, and then back right where Crest Avenue Apartments are, those are all spots. But lines need to be painted because people are double parking and then you can't parallel park to get your car in there. So we need to have those curves not yellow because then there would be nowhere to park. Uh, yeah, you you because you the, can't park in front of our house because in front of my house, you might it's lose completely the yellow. You might lose a stall. How would you lose a stall? Because stop? you gotta be so, back, so far back from the intersection yeah. and so far off that driveway. Yeah. You're gonna lose which the drive? space. The one that goes up across the house. Oh, you mean Sheffler's old house? Yeah. You gotta be so many feet down from the driveway, so many feet back from the intersection. Okay. It's it's the loose Shh. Yeah, because there, because honestly, there is nowhere to park on that street because the people who live on Fifth Street next to me, they park around the corner of both of their cars. I seen her today, yesterday, getting out of her car. So, yes. They both park there, so which means our three vehicles, there's times where my husband is parking almost to 6th Street and has to walk, and he's leaving the house at 4 in the morning, and coming home at 10 o'clock at night, and he's parking all the way down the street because the people in Crest Avenue Apartments, instead of parking in the parking lot, they're parking on the streets, and they're double parking. Well, I think Why can't we park on both sides of that street? They do the whole, the whole, the whole block, the whole street. Exactly. So why can't they park on both sides of it? Mm -hmm. It would be really narrow. It would be narrow just like the yeah, other one. It's no narrower than uh, six. I mean, there, six are, there are times where we come home from the getting groceries or whatever, we leave, we come back an hour later, there's not one spot for us to park in that I have to pull up onto the sidewalk where my steps are, just so I have a place to park, and I go move my car later. All the way down Crest Avenue, the rest of that block, we after said. 6th Street, they park on both sides. We so why is it any narrow by your house than it would be up there? I don't know. I think what we need to do, and I've already talked to TJ about uh, paying after you and I talked last week, um, and since he has yeah, it. I don't, so, want this, I don't want to spot. <laughs> well, I think what we need to do before we start painting is, this gets back to code, and fire, but also if it was Bobby and I talked about this about a couple other spots. Before anything's painted one way or the other, we can't, we have to make sure he says yes, it's okay to paint this, no it's not. Yeah. Yellow lines that Heidi's talking about is back when they opened the crest down to the apartments. Right. Instead of us going all the way up around and get stuck up on the meadow, the shortcut up the crest, okay. and then right. you have, because by Heidi's was that source, so we have to go up and make it like a 90 instead of shortcutting back into the truck and fall on that catch base and then we're. Right. Have to take a chance. That, that was eliminated the yellow line so we could swing and, and 
I'm a boy. Come up and look at it with me. Because well, let me give you another suggestion. If we're, we're back and walking up this morning, why can't we, if, if Matt's okay with it, it's still focus on the fire, because this is more hey, of a fire. You'd want to go for a ride, but we'll take you to some place. Yeah. I just think, can we take the Because I think the fire trucks are the big issue. Right. Yeah. And I think it'd be just as good to have Matt go if, right. if Bobby's not available, or if you're okay with that, Matt. I just think because we're, you know, we're giving Bobby all these things, and that's something that, that Matt's quite capable of doing also. So if everyone's okay with that, we can open one lane, we'll take you and just get some hot spots and show you how to you know. Right, but at the same time we go through, we can, we can make a note of, hey, you know, this yellow dust needed this long and short yeah, enough. Yeah, short enough or something. Right? Also, Mark, we sent a letter to Shops asking the residents not to use 9th Street when they have two parking lots. Why can't we send a letter to Crest Avenue and ask them not to use street parking also? They have they have a ton of parking and they're using they're using the street. They're using the street. They are using the street and I know this for a fact because I watch it all the time. And I know who lives there and who doesn't live there because I see how long the cars are there and they're there overnight. But they're parking on the street. And what they're doing is they're taking up two spots. Like they're not parking like in between lines because there are no lines for them to park in between. So they're just pulling in and parking and then there, there's not enough room for anybody else because you can't like pull in in between and parallel park. Like last night my husband had to pull the truck onto the sidewalk because there was nowhere for him to park. And we can't even park in the front or across or even across Fifth Street. And I can't walk that far with my fiber. Yeah, I mean, I'll, so, I'll, I'll reach out to Nathan and talk to him. But if that's what he's going to do, I mean, I didn't know if we could somehow, but if we're going to lose a spot, then I don't want to go. I'll reach out to Nathan and talk to him. Maybe Bobby can just come up and look at it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's it. We'll proceed with that. Everyone okay with that? Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, um, the restrooms to use parking lots. Um, Jody, I know you and I talked about this at one point. I actually also, I saw Mike. Well, I'd have to. Um, I'd have to. Um, he's good with it either way. The only suggestion he gave me was he'd rather set the parking lot just use that area. And there could be other ones too, but in his case, just use the area, the little park area next to it. Um, but his only concern was it becomes a water area. They have had a problem with lawyers down there, especially not that police. So he's okay with either way, whatever okay, you do. No he appreciates you know, reaching out to him, but if he can't do it because of the situation, he totally understands that also. Um, so he can I have a like four street barbecue yeah. like this one. I mean, not, not just River House, but you know, any restaurant that has a parking lot in close proximity just to help them out for a little bit. Yeah, and I think we have to talk about the case by case because I mean I'm not sure they would even want to have it because the problem I'm so much sure of, like if, can they serve alcohol right. in that parking lot? I don't think they can. So if you have that whole issue, in Dave's case, he's fortunate enough that he has all that outdoor seating. Um, he might not even want it, but I think it's something we have to look at it individually and, see, and basically reach out to those restaurants and say, is there anything we can do to help you? And I think you have to be careful because you don't want to have an insurance problem with a liability referral. I agree. And, you know, it's just, I mean, you can have a green light anyway, so I think people can be a lot of the rest of the time. Well, it's going to be limited seating, though. He's going to be at, um, is it 50%? 50% capacity. Right, 50% capacity. So when he opens, he's actually going to be open, I think, four days initially. Because um, 50% capacity doesn't make a whole lot of sense. They're not going to be, even though we're green, there's still going to be restrictions. You still have your social distancing. Um, you still have limited capacity. Beauty shops have to, leave, have, to have appointments. Yeah. Is that yeah. correct? One yeah. person at a time. So there's still going to be a lot. It's green, but there's still going to be a lot of restrictions. It's not like it all opens up and we're back to normal. Well, I'm concerned about the liability because anytime you have alcohol, some something breaks out with an altercation, then they sue, they sue everybody in Burrow would be part of that. So I, I wouldn't be concerned about the liability issue. I, I, what I'd like to suggest is that we have a bird draft a letter to send to all those restaurants and just say, you know, now that we're going to drink, um, is there anything we can do to help, including
possibly provide you with some additional outdoor seating. Is that everyone okay with that? No. Okay. Mark, um, as far as 4th Street Barbecue, my understanding is within possibly two to three weeks they will be opening up their deck part. Okay. And they'll have a grand opening. Good. So That's a potential day. So, Roberta, do you want to wrap that letter and comment on the sign we'll get that out this week? I mean, I don't think that really is all the way to the agenda next week. I think we should get that out there now and see if they need to represent with that. Okay. okay, on to the uh, NDOT, this is the CMAQ project. This is the one involved um, the changing of traffic lights we found the grant was received a couple years ago. It's been, um, but it's actually, and Roberta and I talked about this, and then Janine called a few days ago to ask me the update on it. And from what I'm still reading on here, it's still scheduled for 2022. Is that right? Okay. So that's in everybody's packets. Um, this is going to replace a lot of traffic lights in town, or possibly removing some. We're still going to study on it. But this is basically. I just recently had to send a letter uh, to Pendar requesting them to do uh, traffic lights and studies on those to see if there was anything to be removed. Okay. So. I mean, it's, there's, it's still a big process. That's why it's not ready until 2022. Yeah, and the funding is scheduled for the 20 day after the 2022 20, funding uh, process. Um, one of the reasons we talked about bringing it up tonight is because when this was originally talked about, most of us weren't in town today. So I think just to get everyone up to speed. It's getting more of a Right, but I just want to make sure everyone's aware of it. That's where it stands. I mean, they, from the very beginning, they said it to be several years out. But so when she called the other day and asked me what was happening with it, that's why I had this poll so we could verify the dates on it. Okay, um, I guess this will be an agenda item. The resolution number five, the, the, the disposition of records, delegate pay bills, and check registers and bank reconciliations from 2012 and active files through 2012. So all 2012. That's just the standard thing you do to clean things out every once in a while. So any questions on that at all? Uh, we have a couple um, accessible parking applications. Both of those were uh, checked by TJ, and he said that they're both okay. I thought the one he said was already too long. He thought that it wasn't, so he went up and checked, okay. and there was only one on the block now, so it's still okay. So that would be correct. In your packet, it says there was either on the packet or the email, it says there was two on the block. I believe it was the one on Prospect, was it originally thought? Yeah. Um, but so that is incorrect, so there's only one need to approve those. Okay. Um, the next question being we are going green, um, when do we put Sandy back out on the street table? What's the thoughts there? Monday. Yeah. Monday. Monday. I don't think that really falls under. See, we don't have to put that on the agenda. We can still get it. We need to vote on that right now, or just go to this policy. We have to back. Either way. Would everyone feel more comfortable voting on it or just go ahead and do it? Just do it. Bring it up. Yeah, I'll bring it up. Well, I understand. I just want to make sure everyone's, everyone's comfortable. Tomorrow. We're only going to notify the people in the town first. Uh, yes. Why? What did he say? Everybody He's sure saying to notify the people of the town first and let them know that the game will be started. I'm sorry. I got that. put that on the uh, email? I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 I think putting it out there. Well, because if they, they pull up and they park, they don't put money in, and they're going to get these two. You know, she can put it on a Facebook site. You know what's funny? Is people still are putting money in. He's still going to never bring it up. So they're going to bring it up. Well, then I guess that's a good thing. Because some people don't think. Oh, but some the people just people that park in front of their own businesses. Yeah. That's a problem. All right. Hey, can we get one conversation going with them, please? Thank you. Can't hear what we're talking about. 
Um, so do we need to put, um, I, I don't think we need to put signs up and screen back. I think it's posted on the Facebook page so what we need to do. That's, I, guess. I agree. Well, as far as from the business end, um, I'll talk to Leanne in the morning and have her send it up to the chamber, chamber members also. I'll, after, after you post it, I'll make sure to let her know the share. They'll catch on the first ticket. Hey, okay, along those lines, <laughs> the first ticket, they'll learn. Yeah. Well, along those lines, just a reminder. Um, because there is no signs up to say when we do street sweepers and when we don't. There were street sweeper tickets that went out this past week, and people thought, well, why didn't I know there was no street sweeper? If, if you go out at any time if the weather's nice, if it's, if it's 50 degrees in December, they can do it. The signs don't say from March through November. It doesn't have any dates like that on it. It just has dates. So I want to make sure that's clear and we get that out there with the media that you know, Yes, they are running the street sweeper. Yes, they run it more in the summer months. But there is no time when it's shut down. It can be running at any time, 12 months a year. Right. Well, the problem bringing this up is because when the street sweeper takes one out last week. I paid $80 worth of tickets. Yeah. I paid right. 20 So, if they went out, so make sure everyone's aware of that. Okay? Hey, the one other thing I want to bring up real quick. Let's make it sit, you know, we have about 2,500 in donations for fireworks, correct? Um, we, I did talk to Glenn. Being we are going green, he sees no problem with us doing fireworks on the 4th. We just need to make sure how it's out there reminding people of social distance. Um, so out of our regular budget, we, we budgeted 5,000. So we would only be using half of that um, we do need to make that decision next week. Well, I'm not saying to make it right now, okay, but if we're still able to have it, but you know, can't wait till next month, obviously. So, again, thoughts and questions? I think we should do this. I think the people have to stop looking forward to it. I don't have a problem doing it. I just don't think we should allow people to come here and come. Correct. I, much, I think we just have to try, we have to post the social distance. Why not they can ride all over the place and nobody's doing nothing about it? But not if you block off the parking lot, then they're not going to congregate. If you block off the parking lot, they're going to congregate in the aisle the same way, or they're just going to walk across the parking lot. But it's, Here, here's what they're going to do. Um, they're going to take their chairs, they're going to park the cars wherever, and, you know, what Glenn suggested was remind people, look, stay at your cars, watch it by your cars, keep an eye on your kids. I mean, we can't hold their hands. They got to be at least semi-responsible. You know, okay. We, I understand where you're coming from, but if we don't allow them to use that parking lot, we all know how full that parking lot gets. Normally, where are those people going to be? They're going to be congested on the streets. At least over there, they can be spread out. But if we don't let them use that parking lot, they're not going to be spread out. They're going to be more than just right. I would have a suggestion. I know that we need a plus and all that, and uh, I think the donations are good. Maybe we could we could raise more, but I think the six thousand dollars that we have budgeted, you know, our town looks like a moon crater. I mean, it's really bad. We're paving Washington Avenue, but we need to save some money, to continue to, to pave the streets. Right, where are we going now? We can work. On. Where are we working? We're waiting for the bids to come back from the engineers right now. The engineers are working on the bids. We talked last month about the streets. Steve went over everything. But we had to get over, we didn't have the spec amounts and the quantity amounts. So, so we will be paying those. We have numerous streets set up to be paid. But, and that is our project. It absolutely is. We're all in favor of that. We're going to do it. We need the engineers to finish the spec work. We don't have enough money to pay for all the time. We, we have a good bit of money to do a good bit. Yes, we do. We have a, we're going to see what these bids come back at. You were given a list. You sure have a list from last meeting. Um, the streets we were looking at. Yeah. Once we get the bids back, then we can see which one of the streets we can do. But we're already on that. Okay. Okay. Not the streets. It's going to be done. It might not be in there, but it, and that's why it happened from last May. And that, it's not necessarily we're going to get every one of those streets done. We went through and picked the streets we thought were in the worst shape. We haven't. We have 
do versus the one the street bats are trying to repair or patch. But once we get the bids back, then we can look at our dollar amounts, we can look at the streets, and then we can do it as a group. Okay, these are the ones we have X amount of dollars, let's apply that X amount of dollars to these particular streets. And we should have that hopefully within the next 30 days, we should be able to give a better idea. So the $6,000 wouldn't be applied to that? Well, that's just 5000 we have budget, so that'd be 2500 difference. I mean, yeah, 5000 What's 5000 put on sleeves in the street? That gets you about 10 feet. I mean, honestly, what, it, it doesn't really do anything. That's, that's a drop in the bucket. We have, we have money to do pay. Okay. Okay, we have another pot where we're able to move some money around, so we do have some money to do some pay. Thank you. Yes. Um, I would like to thank Dave or he from Four Street Foods donated money, not money, I'm sorry, donated um, food packages to our police department, to our fire department, and to our street crew. Um, they didn't get to go up to the big uh, food distribution, so I do want to thank him for that. And he did ask me, um, have we made a decision on August 15th? I forgot what we said on that. Uh, we haven't made a decision on that. Okay. We're just going green now. We're going green. That was my, I thought we talked about going to the fireworks then, which I would feel more comfortable with. That's what we did say. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. That. I thought we actually talked about the possibly one year. We brought what are you talking about? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I said we talked about going home. I said about doing either, and I think we still didn't even win. Why don't we do this? Why don't we consider doing fireworks for both? Do a small fireworks for both. I think that would be nice. Because if we only put, we're not going to have vendors for Fourth of July. So all you're going to do is a twenty-five hundred dollar fireworks show. Uh, you can do that at home. Twenty-five hundred dollars. We're going to get criticized saying Jerry Rexy is a bit.
But like I said, we'll think about it. We'll, we'll make a decision on it next week. Listen, I was talking to a girl. I'll give you her name after we're off camera. I'll be happy to. At the polls yesterday, she looked at me and she said, put that money somewhere else. She said, and me and all my neighbors that live downtown feel that way. She said, because we're the ones who have to deal with it. And I agree with her. She said, my kids throw them smoke bombs at people's cars that are leaving, she said, because it's treacherous. Well, they're, they're going to do the same thing. If you want to do it in August, it's going to be the same thing in August. But you have a festival in August. We're not going to have anything for the 4th of July. Dave's going to put that off in August. And that would kind of like go, hey, Dave, thanks. Here's fireworks for you. Okay, well, we'll talk about it next week. Um, okay, I have one other thing. Um, Roberta, did you print that off for me? Yeah, I put it on your table. There is going to be one more thing we want to add to the end. We've got no showing you this now. Actually, there's um, Oh, yeah, you can sure be interested on that. I don't know. Okay, do you want to do your Yeah, I'm going to ask it. Okay, I was talking with Yester and Southwestern Battalion, and um, she is the youth program coordinator, and she um, she has people in Shawlery that have put in applications to uh, work on this program. I thought it would be good to she can allow us two summer workers through this program. They would start July first if we approved it, and they would work till the. Um, I think, um, I want to misquote her, I believe it was the end of August. Um, but it would not cost us anything. So the only thing would be you have to, you have to supervise, right? I would supervise yeah. them. Okay. And, and I, it won't cost you to supervise me. What, I noticed there's a certain age, you know, there's certain things you want to do for the flags. It's right? in there. Yeah. The yeah, I know that. That's what I'm asking. So, right. which. Do we know what age you're getting? Uh, so the the okay. ladder, they have to be senior or 16. 14. Well, I'm, no, I can't I'm, climb a ladder. Can't climb a ladder at 14. Oh, I thought, I'm sorry. I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah. No, I was thinking if we could get the man that's down that needs to come down in another way, and then they could help with that. I, unless she has people within that age group that could climb a ladder, I did not see the listing as yet. I did ask her for the listing. They can't do that. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to any kind of help you get, especially because it costs anything. Um, I worry about people climbing the ladders. Especially, you know, I don't care if you're 20. You know, climbing the ladders, taking them down. I've, I've been watching Melanie Hell and New Eagle put the flags up. And they're using their rope crew, and they're using backhoes, and they're lifting their guys up, and they're using right kind of way That's too. Yeah. Well, no, but they're not going They're going at it. They're using the bucket trucks, but not climbing ladders. I'm worried about putting the ladder on the belt. Yeah. If Ocean drives the town, he's going to buck up a backup. I'll help you. I don't like the idea of putting a ladder on a belt. Because it's going to rock. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll talk about that next week. Okay. Yeah. Well, she will. Um, and the curb shell. Uh, she's also going to allot one worker for the Veterans Museum. Uh, we, as you know, we have a lot of stuff that needs inventory down there. So we would be getting three workers actually okay. within the borough. Yeah, just make for next week, just so we know what we're voting on the job, what jobs you plan to have to do. Okay. We make sure that coordinates with everything else. All right. Okay. Everyone okay with us? Tell me number one. Okay. One more thing I almost forgot to add. Well, two things I forgot to add to the agenda. Um, we did get the most recent um, invoice from that Smart Act for the STMP program. 
Um, there's still plenty of money in it. This is again money from the grants, so not, com not coming out of borough funds. And the newest invoice is for $2,850. Um, did everyone get a copy of this? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to go ahead and add that to the agenda for next week also, please. And the other thing I'd like to add, um, Roberta sent out a couple weeks ago, I don't know if everyone saw it or not, um, the Pennsylvania Blight Remediation Program. Sorry, I have a hard time with that word. Um, and that application period opened on the 1st and closed on the 31st. We do qualify. That would be for demo money. Um, it's a 10% match which we'd be able to use CDBG money for, and it could be up to $300,000. So we're going to go ahead and apply for this and see if we get it. I'm going to put that on the agenda for next week also. Give it to the SCMP guys. Okay. 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 Those are the only other agenda items I have. Um, we do have a couple executive session items I'm going to have to go into, and a couple personnel items. Um, is there any public discussion before we get into that? Okay. Um, that being said, um, let's go ahead and go over to the council chambers. Um, for, like I said, we have these two personal matters we're discussing. Hopefully, we can. Okay. I have a question. Um, can the cameras pull into executive meetings? No. 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 All right. That would make me not exactly. Yeah, that would make me not exactly. Why? Not a personal care. 